today's video, this Korok is going to get revenge on the enemies of Hyrule. We're going to create a Mecha Korok, and he's going to go and attack some Bokoblins and other stuff. It should be a pretty fun time. We got this comment here on our Discord from J underscore Korok. Create the Korok of ultimate destruction. Slap a Korok onto a Zonai killing machine one of you created and use it to help out the monster patrol. Well, we're not going to be doing the monster patrol part of it, but we thought that this was a pretty promising comment with a lot of uh, good potential. So, yeah, we're going to take out one of the camps, but the monster patrol thing over in this region has already been uh, done. But we are going to take a, take this Korok into the camp uh, on top of his shiny new awesome Mecha Korok construction. <laughs> All right, what's this Korok's name? Um, he Henry. Henry. He Hen Llewellyn. Hank. Brock. Brock? Brock Korok. Is that a Pokemon reference? Uh, no, it's just a name, Peter. Oh. Okay, we need some good Zonai devices, though, for this. And so uh, it needs to be able to m have mobility. Yep. And so I think we, well, we need one of these so it will automatically, like, move toward maybe two of these for, like, the feet. Yeah. Or, like, I don't know, just some wheels and one of those. Yeah, no two of those. Will it, will it steer the wheels if that's... Uh, well, you could put wagon wheels. We have wagon wheels next to us. Oh, that's true. We could just attach this to the wagon. Yeah, no, we're going to can... build... It's going to have spark emitters and flame emitters and um, all sorts of good stuff. I'm and it should be pretty this. fun to watch. See what how the Korok if we does. Do... Yeah, will it home in if you... You're going to use the wagon? I'm just curious if it, like... Let's see, get my activation stick. It will, if there's bad guys, that'll move toward them. Yeah, that's true, you only need one. Oh, but you already got out two. But, I, I mean, I kind of want to, like, not use the wagon, honestly. This would be way cooler if it was, like, Korok sitting atop a throne. And then, um, it's gotta have a laser beam. Uh-huh. And two shock, nope. Uh, decrease. There are two shock emitters and a flame emitter. Two flame emitters. Why not? <laughs> why not? And we're going to need a couple of these so that way, like, it can aim at the bad guys. Oh, yeah. You could put the emitters on those things. And then, do we have any stabilizers? <laughs> no. This might not stand on its own. We're, we'll find out. Well, we got two We got two feet. Well, use a, use a board. Yeah, and you got two of the homing things and use um, a couple wheels. Okay. Cool. Well, those things won't disappear if I go over here and get a board, will they? I hope not. That'll be an expensive This is uh, experiment. a classic basement, well-thought-out video where uh, we gathered all oh, the... Yeah. What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> He's building some sort of terrible device! Well, first of all, the, the seat... Yeah. Oh, it's going to sproing up, though. Oh, yeah, he's got to be high up on his chair, on his throne of power. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that Korok green pooped his backpack. And now he's sitting in goo. Sitting on his throne of goo. Now, are you going to make those like two front tires? Yeah, kind of. And then like put two wheels. rear tires on the back? Because you could slap a couple of wagon wheels on the back. Yeah, just to give it some stability. Yeah. I'm worried this is going to tip forward or backward. But you're the one building the mecha device. You know, we could, uh, for stability, we could just add the wagon on the back. I mean, it will not fall either direction if the wagon's attached. To that. That's true. Then are you going to... Oh, that'll be where I can ride. Because oh. I'm going to want to stay kind of close, right, to the action? I suppose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we need... Oh, yeah, these bad boys on the front. Ooh, I like it. Sticking them on sideways, huh? You're going to stick it onto the... <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Wait, uh, flip it around. Eye facing forward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Death Korok. Dude, he's going to be the ultimate Korok of destruction. How you feeling, Korok? <laughs> I need to reach my friend! I'm feeling powerful! 
Also, I need to kill everything in sight. <laughs> How do these devices know to attack? Like, Bokoblins and stuff, and not, like, NPCs. Okay, I think we're gonna do the shock emitters down here, because they don't actually, like, shoot out very well. They just kind of, like, hit whatever they touch. So they need to be a little bit more like that. Okay. And then the fire is a problem. It can't be uh, potentially burning this device. Wait, what's on the other... On the other... Homing thing. Uh, oh, that's a laser beam up here. Okay. But if I put this on this, it might like aim down and shoot and burn up the device. Yeah. So I think what we need to do is... <laughs> that... You can put one on the back, just facing backwards. On the back of this? <laughs> yeah. Like a rocket? <laughs> yeah, it'll go real slow, though. Just if anyone tries to approach from the back, they'll be, uh... Okay, let's take a look. Wait, what's on the ground still? A hydrant? Oh, yeah. What for? It was an accident. To I drown our enemies. Do we have anything else that looks like it could do some damage? Uh, bomb. <laughs> That'll blow this machine up, though. <laughs> We have no cannons. It's okay. Um, let's see. More flame emitters. Those are danger, though. Yeah. No, I think well, I have another one of these arms and nothing to go on it. Oh. Um, here. I know. He just needs to look more mecha, I think. So at night, he's got like a little bit of like a light source. Shining around. <laughs> Shining on enemies. <laughs> Blinding them. With fashion and technology. Alright, is this gonna work? Nope. <laughs> oh. Well, you already got her. <laughs> well, it's uh, not starting itself on fire. Uh, yeah, I think okay. you gotta get it closer to, uh... Yep. Some enemies. Okay, let's bring it over. <clears throat> That's step... Seven. We're on step seven now. See this Korok? You think he's excited? You think he's nervous? I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous for him. But I need to reach my friend! No, you need to destroy the enemy. <laughs> Only that- listen, murder that whole camp, and then you can reach your friend. <laughs> if you don't want to see your friend again, you'll go in there. We have the technology, we've made him stronger. Faster. Dumber. Meaner. Violenter. Glad we're not. I'm glad you didn't opt for the uh, robot camp. The zone A. Oh, yeah, they could have. They're not zone A. <laughs> Stop that. Watch out for that tree. <sighs> it's the worst when you say it like that. Makes me want to throw up. <laughs> well, we've gotten a lot of comments about zone A. <laughs> oh, throw it up. We can look at a little bit in my mouth. Gross. Oh, I see the enemies up ahead that need to be taken out. This machine might be perfect because they've got like spiky things in the front and we'll be able to start them on fire with our machine. Uh oh, <gasps> we've been spotted. All right, Mecha Boko. It's time. All right, Brock. Show him who's boss. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, you shocked the horse. Where's the Boko? Wow. Dude. He's dead? Yeah, he killed him real fast. Dude, did you see that Hinox? I did. Do we want Korok to take on Hinox? If if he can survive this, then we should definitely do that. Do Koroks are indestructible? Yeah, he's 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 more machine than man now. Whoop. Oh no, my beam! I mean not beam, this thing. Why'd you walk? Why'd you do it? Right into the stump. Hey, that's not where that goes. It's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> what? It'll work just fine. We gotta put this on here because it matters. Oh, you put it back in the right spot. It's fine. <laughs> Trying to take it off runs the risk of messing the whole machine up. It never really actually mattered. That's true. You wouldn't want to... I guess the only real solution would have been to not <laughs> rub it up against the stump in the first place. No! <laughs> All right, we need a bow because we need to activate it. Yeah, hopefully he can burn these things. Do, you, do we want to watch from a distance so they're not attacking us? Well, if we're going to do that, then I have to add some batteries. Oh, right. Eh, it might be... Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 
Don't you hate it when you put the batteries in wrong? <laughs> Take them out, Korok! Show them who's boss! Hey, we've got a life bar for the whole group. Wow, he got that moblin pretty good. <laughs> One thing died already. Oh my gosh, he hits hard. Don't go through all this work just to die. Need to eat a meal? Yep. Yep. Um. Oops, that was a waste. I'm sure we're loading after this anyway. <laughs> After using all these zone aid devices. Hold on, little Korok. We'll get you straightened out. Take him out! <gasps> My batteries! Oh, it used the batteries and your batteries. It's alright. We're good. We just have to wait for him to recharge. Hey, I'll bet if you get in the wagon, you'll be safe. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so? No. What if you get on top of the... Boko? Or on top of the Korok? Aha! Take him out! Attack! I don't... I don't quite get why he's like... set down in the dead center and facing spikes instead of... rolling well, toward the... He keeps turning toward the... Quarry. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> this, no! We need more battery! Mecha Korok! <laughs> oh, I know a way to get more battery. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what I can do. Yes. Oh, he's working. What happened to his wagon? <laughs> yeah, the wagon broke, but dude, he's. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> go, Korok. Do it. Do it. You do better it. go fast. Toward... No, oh, they busted him up. <laughs> Attacking him, <laughs> but it's not helping. <laughs> Yeah, he's got what you call infinite life. <laughs> <laughs> the little beams turning all the different directions. <laughs> oh, they really are attacking him. That moblin's so fancy, he keeps twirling his dagger. <laughs> Good job, little Korok. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Dude, look at the health bar. He's really taking him out. He really is. This is impressive. I don't think you've caused a single HP of damage yourself, have you? No. Just been running around and <laughs> eating meals, defending. Yeah, that book goblins. Oh, no! <laughs> Take him out, Korok! <laughs> <laughs> no! Don't tip over! You got him! Dude, that little thing is like- Whoa! <laughs> that was close. We were both legit scared there. Alright. It's time to finish what you've started. <laughs> You're almost done. Oh! That worked. Only one left. Victory! <laughs> Victory for the Korok! Hey! Uh, <laughs> Good job, old guy. You've done your duty. By the way, one last <laughs> <laughs> one last thing. We just need you, you to kill a Hinox for us. Oh, yeah. <coughs> We're gonna have to do some repairs on the old uh, Korok mobile, I think. For real. Although I think it might work better if we just... Yeah, no wood. Yep. Make it so it's not... Burnable. Do you want to center that thing? Those wheels will never burn. Right? I, yeah, I think you're right. So we could do like, here's my idea. Or like put them, Make put them a between wheel the thing. Uh, homing devices. So it's like, oh, it would be good to have a stabilizer. So if it starts to oh, tip. Oh yeah, okay. It's pretty funny. It could work. Why not? Oh. Actually, that's good that it's at an a angle. A little bit of a tilt, a rakish tilt. Yeah, because it's already leaning that way. 
Okay, uh, what about emitters? Are there any emitters laying about? This is the light beam. Well, we gotta use that. I guess we answered our question about why not more I've got emitters, beam emitters I've because got... we used up our battery so fast. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, well, there's, there's a an flame. emitter. Yeah. It's important. Now, do we want it always all of them facing forward so we can stay safely stand behind them? Or do we want it they multiple directions? No, we so, want forward. Yeah, okay. Hopefully the Korok won't circle behind him. Or the, uh, sorry, the... The Hinox? The Hinox. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what we need to figure out? I wonder if it's even possible. I bet they don't let you take Zone A devices out during the Ganon sequence, do they? You can, but he breaks them so fast. Oh, he does? Even like springs and stuff? Oh, the indestructible ones. Yeah. What if you built a Ganon killing machine? Not in this episode, but that sounds like a future uh, stream slash what happens yeah, if Yeah, because if you dropped all the, the pieces, maybe... Ooh, here's our Hinox. Hey, maybe we'd like to um, make it daytime. I'm afraid it'll despawn the dude. Well, Blood Moons don't. Oh, despawn the Hinox? No, our guy. Mm, I don't think so, because when I was doing the Hudson video, I never... They never disappeared, and the stuff never disappeared. Okay. Oh, hey, look it. <laughs> Good job! You made a day! I did it! And the stuff didn't despawn. See, I knew. I knew. Where did he go? Oh, maybe the Hinox did, though. Oh, there he is. Okay, little guy. It's your time to shine. And our time to eat a meal. <laughs> Uh-oh! You better glue fast! <laughs> oh, it's nightmarish. He's coming over here and you're trying to... <laughs> Get him! <laughs> what the? Ow! Oh no! My legs! Oh! Whoa! Was that the... Was that the Korok that just flew in front of the camera? <laughs> Come back! You need. We need our. We need our man to m man the the thing. Baby, come back! Ouchie, he says. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no! You really made quick work of that. You know, but goblins and moblins are one thing, but that Hinox, he's not messing around. Oh, is there going to be a green goopy Korok on there? Hey, we made you a friend! It's a bit of an abomination, but... Well, there goes 45. <laughs> Get back on there! Quick, it's only 42 because we reused the Korok. <laughs> oh, he's facing toward you! <laughs> This is actually really challenging. <laughs> ah, stop chasing me so much. There, shoot him. <coughs> He's shooting him. He's flaming him. Oh, oh got him in the, the eye. eye. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect a precision shot from Mecha Korok, I'll be honest. Dude, he's got skills, man. Ding! <laughs> oh my eye, I hate this robot. I want to sit on it and squish it. I'm a Hinox and I don't like robots. Oh, this works well. Oh, yeah. Just attack him from the back, Korok. I've got him. <laughs> Just you trust keep me. Busy. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> Man, is he ever slow. <laughs> He's getting them, though. <laughs> hey, that'll keep him busy for a minute. <laughs> I'm surprised the Hynax doesn't get annoyed and turn around and like... Yeah, with being lasered in the back. I would. If I were chasing Link around and I was just taking a laser to the back, I'd be like, Link, please excuse me for a moment. Turn around and wha-pow! Did Link kind of look like he was wiping his butt? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's important to wipe your butt. Uh, Mecha Korok! 
Help us! Oh, that bull goblin. Oh, he's taking out the horse. He's trying. He's trying to kill that bull goblin on that horse. Yes! <laughs> Knocked him off. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I think we're allowed to attack the uh, Bokoblin. Just not the Hinox. Whoops. Hey, out of the way! Oh, that was close. <laughs> back at it! Get back in action! You Fast know what to do! Tenactin. Yes! Right, Laser him in his Achilles heel! Yeah, you can't outrun the uh, your Korok buddy too fast. <laughs> He's pretty slow. Ouchie! Oh, he went out of range. Oh, he's out of battery already. That too. Die! Okay. Come on. Korok, you could do it! Mecha One Korok. last round. Well, maybe. Maybe he could kill him in this round of battery. Yeah, if you could just hold still for a bit, Hinox, that'd be great. Oh, no! <gasps> oh, you got him! <laughs> Not a <laughs> moment too soon. He actually destroyed the stuff. Like Come he was on. on his way down with his butt. <laughs> Dude, he did <laughs> He got it. lasered and destroyed the Zonite stuff. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was perfect. Where's Good job, friend? little guy. Let's see. Yeah, get, we'll talk to him and see where the smokestack comes. Oh, I see the smokestack. We're going to try to... Just get him there, him right over there. Okay, hold on, little doof. <laughs> uh, I think that's about right. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. It's not rocket science. <laughs> I assume he made a toot noise when he landed. <laughs> he probably farted. Uh, Ted and I viewers. Know, I did Whoa, you notice close. the toot noise when the peach fell in the water in front of Mitha's statue? <laughs> In, uh, we played Two Tears of the Kingdom as Princess Peach. Naomi was watching me edit that part, and I put it in, and she laughed really hard. So I was like, okay, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> Wait, you put it? Oh. I put it in. Oh, you, you put in a toot noise at a different spot. Oh! But when you toss the peach in front of Mifa's statue, statue, yeah, later I laughed, and I said, oh, when I landed, it went... But I got rid of that line, but I moved the audio of that to when the peach actually landed in the water. Ah. Uh. And I laughed and laughed, and then you put in your own, <laughs> and I commented on it, and I was like, yes! <laughs> your friend is the most powerful of the Koroks. I recommend you talk to him about battle strategies and technologies. Uh, unfortunately, he has a bunch of unsmoked beef jerky in his backpack, so I placed him right there. To smoke the beef jerky. Yeah, you just leave him for six hours, and it'll be delicious. Hey, if you like this video, you probably like this other one where we took suggestions and put a little twist on them to make them a little bit uh, more interesting. We'll see you over there. You can click on it right now. In, In the, the basement. basement.